All right. Welcome back. We are our Sam Yes. This video is late. I admit it. I'm not going to fight you on it. But it is coming at you the, the very next day, right? So that's it, it's it's a Saturday. Saturday video. Hey, Saturday video. Yay. Right? Saturday video. Whatever. I tried. So, last episode, I was scared for my life. And it was great. I haven't experienced fear like that in a very, very long time very long time. I I can't remember the last time I had to face a bevy of bosses scraping by. It was it, it was it was the best. 10 out of 10 would suffer again. But we now have to head all the way back to the castle where we left off last episode. I left because we needed to resupply on everything. I also wanted to do some upgrading and I ran around numerous cities looking for anyone that sold what I needed to upgrade the base. I I can't figure out where pelts come from. I have 14 of the things, and I need so many more to do so many good things. But I, the, the pel they're nowhere. So they're obviously a drop. But I can't tell from where. Was it from a uh, uh, uh hey, what is it? Is it from one of the resource mining spots? Like the like we, where we can get lumber from little trees? Or did I kill something for it? If I killed something for it, I'm never going to find it again. Oh, I'm so sad. I am a teleportation professional. Uh. Oh, and it's not like it's it's not like the pelts oh, are for some coming? some piddly little crap. No, 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 no. I we truly truly need pelts. I'm tr I'm struggling to remember where though. Over here. Yes. Yes, I need a stopak shop so I may cease my suffrage. Help me. Because as much as I love the idea of what she does, I currently, I cannot bring myself to swap from Cassandra. I could also upgrade headquarters, but I I only have 10,000 funds and it requires 6,400 of them. Hmm. I think, oh yeah, and then I also need... Yeah, I need Mystic Lumber to unlock whatever this does. And, and yet more Mystic Lumber for the quarry. 
which I don't even have a manager for, so... <sighs> so, yeah. Like, wait, 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 wait. Our treasury is... Can I help you, perhaps? How do we have a limit on our money? Well, I may as well upgrade headquarters then. Because... Otherwise, we're just losing cash. Oh, no. Don't get me wrong. I, I love that. But, oh. Oh. Truly, the last thing I need is more of this. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm mortified at the thought of trying to acquire the resources to build these other facilities, but good lord, the fact that there are more, oh, my nips are on end. No, it didn't sound right with outstanding. I mean, it sound, it, it didn't sound right, it, it wouldn't sound right either way, but Standing on end would be preferable. I need 46 allies in order to upgrade this again. Uh, there are at least 100, so... Well, at least maybe close to 100. I don't really know. Yet. So, we may be upgrading at least two more times to about level five, which would be a reasonable point to stop. Assume they, assuming they do, of course. Now, it looks like the rest of these upgrades are for yields rather than unlocking any actual facilities. I was put in my place rather quickly. Hold on. So... Iron ore to unlock. I think we can actually... Yeah, we can actually build the hot spring now. And we know where those two are. We literally just left that place. No, I think I was in the area before in Persiarch. I only remember it because it's actually an interesting name. Not bad, interesting. Ah, oh, crap. Another pelt issue. Dev ally ability? were not in party? I think they really should have just spelled it out as intended and had it scroll. Because Dev Ab Ally Abilit looks like someone had a stroke while typing. Smithy. Oh, crap. Yeah, we need that, too. And I don't... Wait. If I build it, will he... I can't build it because he hasn't come yet. I actually need the Smithy more than I want... More than I need these guys, although we... How many women do we actually have? We have the guy's sister, Cassandra, my beloved. Uh, the, the one, the one, the lumberjack. The auntie. I don't... 
it's not looking good. I don't really care. I don't care if guys get to have a hot spring bath house. Not women. That's much more important to me. But even then, uh, it depends on what this relaxation effect is. But I really would like to have a smithy. And an armor shop. Enables you to purchase rune shards? And where did I get mystic lumber from? Is it just a random chance to drop from normal mining spots? Do you see do you see my do you see why I was absolutely aghast at the idea that more stuff was unlocked? Do you understand now? Please come. Okay, so I actually have to head over to Impersiarch to see if I can recruit this guy now. I have literally never Wait. failed at this. Not once. Here no. we go. Crap, this guy isn't in Impersiarch. He's actually over there where the cowardly prince is. One of the rare times her screw-ups have actually gotten us where we need to be. Just so you are aware, I do that every time. Because when you're teleported to this city, you come in through this side. And for some weird reason, for some weird reason, I mistakenly assume that it's just going to put me on the left side of the city. So I run right back out of so the guy we want is this one I don't know where the armor is yet or maybe Arts I haven't come across an... shut up oh, I need a workshop I don't understand. Is the guy a blacksmith or not? I assume so, but oh, crap! I have to head back to the goddamn castle then. Or just... what did he want? Oh, I must find. Oh, I... Goddamn recipe for something. While I'm here, let's see if we can. I think I take this thing. Uh, yeah, he can't take things that far. Okay, so this was something of a waste. This is glowing. No. Shh. 
surely. Surely not, right? Surely. Yeah, the, there's no, there's literally no hot spot. Well, at least this is active now. Pasture, trading house. God, I would love some pelts. Underground. idea who these other people are. But they poo in buckets, so I'm satisfied. The sheer convenience of not having to run everywhere. Oh. Oh, that's the good stuff. And that's what we were able to learn. As of now, no significant force within the Empire is publicly opposing Dukes Aldrich. However, once word of his activities gets out, I have faith opposition will emerge. I knew that fiend's slimy grin hid terrible secrets. But weaponizing lenses is a horror. And we now know there was more to the Norsefarian purchase than simply securing a foothold for invasion. I'm sorry to ask, Yelu, but your family? My parents didn't make it. That damnable cur! Sacrificing human lives to unlock the power of the rune lenses. It's totally unforgivable! That we didn't think of it first. <sighs> Yelu, look! Oh, Milu. Okay. He's Mega Man now. <laughs> Me and Paul wanted to come through for the little guy, so... We put our heads together, and voila! What do you think? Pretty fierce, yeah? It's the start of his villain arc. Nobody's gonna hurt you ever again, now that I've got this. What did I tell you? Oh, what in the world do I want with a background character? He doesn't even have a face. He's going to have the hardest of times wiping after a poop. <laughs> I died. <laughs> oh, I don't want it. No, Milu. They won't. Thank you. From what I'm hearing, it doesn't sound as if our military victory has dulled Aldrich's ambitions. His next move is coming. We can count on it. Another move on the League once he consolidates power within the Empire, perhaps? No. He's after something more. Especially considering what he did to Yelu's people. So what's the plan? I'll continue gathering intelligence. Otherwise, we grow our strength. That's the one thing we can control. Okay, so we're going on another hiring spree. Got it. We have received... Permission from corporate? We can start hiring again. <sighs> sure feels like this crap's gonna get worse before it gets better. I 
That's how it is. I feel like I didn't say it. Aw, oh, what's the matter, kiddo? Talk to your boss. I'm a fountain of sage advice, after all. Oh, wait, no. I already got it. You need a belly full of grub and a good night's sleep. <laughs> yep, that's the ticket, all right. Not the worst advice I've ever heard. Take a day for yourself, Noah. Go back to your quarters and rest. Because tomorrow, that snout of yours is going right back to the grindstone. <laughs> now, let's make sure we do the saving correctly this time. What are you doing in here if he's we'll supposed be to be resting? The Empire in earnest now. I... That... That was so weird. And unnecessary. They say go rest and then follow him in there. And then say... More stresses are coming. I don't think that's conducive to a good night's sleep. Oh, hey, Leon. Okay, there's clearly something wrong, so spit it out. Just a lack of confidence, I guess. Periel roped me into being commander, but I'm not sure I'm the right person for the job. Yeah, I guess her ladyship did sort of sucker you into this, huh? You think so, too? Look, let me ask you something. How did you feel about those things Sane and Yaley told us today? They made me sick. And furious. And how about what happened to your home? I'll never let anything like that happen again. Obviously. Okay. So isn't that enough? You're a man of pure, honest, emotional reactions. Which is why her ladyship tapped you to be the big cheese. And for what it's worth, I... Well, I know you giving it your all will help me rise to the occasion, too. You mean it? Of course she means it. No one's asking you to change. All you have to do is keep being yourself. Oh, Yelu. I'm sorry I wasn't able to save your parents. Don't be. We were strangers to you. You owed us nothing. <sighs> I just... Well... I wanted to know, why did you help us? <sighs> Though I understand completely if you feel differently, I still believe good yet remains in the Empire, so I continue to fight for my homeland even if it means betraying it. So... Well, I guess I needed to prove I was right. That sounds so selfish to you. Uh, no. Your reason 
doesn't change your actions. It doesn't change what you did for us. How soon before the Dukes makes his move, would you say? Not long. I fear the intelligence we've received paints a most distressing picture. The upcoming fight will be uh, difficult. How would you handle it? Run to the edge of the world and dig a very deep hole. Because I fear that's exactly how far I'd have to go to stay out of the Dukes' reach. So what's stopping you? I don't own a shovel. Therefore, I have decided to undertake the next best option. Defeating him. <laughs> You certainly don't lack for confidence. I was under the impression you'd arrived at the same decision. Of course. I have a promise to deliver on, after all. Pretty sure their castle's just ahead. Then let's pay him a visit. Hopeful be. So, what is our objective now? Nothing else to do, may as well go outside. I'm not walking downstairs because I don't have to. Though it would be just as fast, let's be honest. I walk right past the door. There is the matter of the armor that useless girl is wearing. I'm actually going to need that back. Right away. Oh, right. Last episode, we all. Yeah, I should probably go over that. Last episode, I uh, fought Reyna just on a whim and then stuck that in at the end of the video. I wonder how many people of the very few that already watched this actually stuck around long enough for the very end of that video to occur. Because, of course, I... You know, as you do in this in such a case, I stuck that in on the. I did. I had the old, the whole outro, and then at the very end, where you would normally expect the video to be done, I stuck a little bit more on the end of it. The mostly the entire fight, actually, and I discovered in that fight that the sleep. From the spell on the dark room is extremely powerful. When we fought Hurstwine and the, the 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 woman with the mask, when we fought those two, 
our team kept getting put to sleep by Hurstwine and his annoying skill that we now have. Actually, speaking of speaking of which, I could actually take that room. Actually, I'd want to take that off of Noah if I'm correct. It's Yeah, that's the one. So, the sleep slash skill is what we got from beating her swine and the woman with the mask. Thing about his thing about the sleep from that skill, they wake up after they get hit. But as you saw in, well, you can even if you haven't seen it, you can go back and see it. It's literally maybe a minute worth of video at the very end of last episode. We put her to sleep and then she just stayed asleep while we pummeled her brain. I I had something else I was going to say there and I just it, it was lost to the void and then we picked up some other pieces of something else. It so it came out really weird, but as we beat her about the ears with our weapons and two stacks of charged attacks, she stayed asleep, which is extremely powerful. For something that I believe affects all enemies, I'd have to check the room, but I think it does. Even if it doesn't, that means you can just pick one person to not be able to play the game anymore. You just turn their AI off. And I had come to the conclusion that the sleep, if you guys have been following along, when we first came across her, I had already suspected sleep was the solution to the problem. But for whatever reason, I didn't bother testing it out. I just went on about our business because, well, I didn't, I most likely didn't want the video to be me just trying to beat this woman up unsuccessfully. Anyway, what were we doing here? Right, we took the armor off the girl. I actually want to check other skin to confuse scar. Energizing scar. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to leave that on her. I think I'll take this though. I would love to give her a bunch of stuff that increases her damage output. She's level 40 and her damage is just... It's not great. What about her runes? Naturally, she can keep blinding fall because I can't take it from her. Her skill. Are you kidding? She's getting, she's getting her dexterity buffed by this. Granted, it's since her value, since the value of her dexterity is so low, she's not getting much from it. It's, it's disgusting. It is disgusting. That is the, I, I, I want to throw up a little. She 
doesn't need the rune of speed, but I do like her being fast. Yeah, so it looks like both of these things are... She only needs two more levels before she unlocks the rune slot that lets her equip anything. And frankly, I have no idea what skill rooms she would even, or, you know, abilities, not this kind of skill room, that she would be able to equip here, much less use. And it's only a level two, so it can't equip anything that'll be too crazy, right? I don't know what I don't know how far abilities go in terms of the slots they can require. For example, Rune of Blind here. This skill requires four four slots in order to be equipped. But since it's her unique thing, it can't be unequipped and given to someone else. But it already makes her extremely powerful. And valuable. And then there's Raina. She's got three different three different rooms. So what if I just stacked her with physical defense runes and, well, I could, I mean, I could, I should probably split it between physical defense and magical defense, but anyway, what if I just stacked her to the ceiling with rune armor, runes of armor, and physical defense. I don't think I have another... Oh, we do. It goes right up to A. And I've seen what it does for someone that already has armor. In terms of the value it gives it. Making it harder to be removed. Right! Last episode, after each of those fights gave us something extra. And not just healing items that we would desperately need to survive the next fight. Oh, right. Let's actually check Milo, the villain in training. So he's got Rune of Faint Thrust. Because that's totally a thing you do with the hand. Power and Water keep all of that. Are there any skill rooms I can take from people? Also, apparently our setup is disgusting as far as this party is concerned. Having three people do charge-ups, we hit her for 600, more than 600 damage per person in a single turn. I don't know how much of that was, was because of the sleep, though. I don't know if the sleep allows you to do higher damage because they're effectively defenseless or not. I mean, the armor they have is still contributing to reducing their damage. Unless, you know, I'm not even going to get into that particular detail. But, I mean, you get the point, right? But if the sleep is reducing their resistance to damage, let's say, 
it makes this it just makes the sleep even more valuable and i mean we're going to have whoever has it i'm pretty sure it's the girl the one that can teleport but we can just take it off of her and put it on someone else should a more interesting mage come across I don't think... Yeah, that's not going to come off. Mind resistance... Actually, I will go ahead and take that. Thanks for your contribution. Oh, well, the entire point of me taking that rune of ash? in order to see no these are purely for stats I'd have to get her two more levels to see if she can equip that room we just took off of Ivy but speaking of which crap I know we've been here for a while but it's it'll be extremely worth it because remember well, I say remember, but if you haven't actually seen the goddamn uh, clip, you won't understand. But when we fought Revy, or Reyna, when we fought Reyna, everyone basic, aside from, what's his bug? Yusuke. Aside from Yusuke, the other two that do charge, charge up attacks. They literally only have normal attacks to rely on. Because as we proved at some point. Yeah, during the boss fight, I tested out the quick slash, which is about the only thing that Scarlet can actually equip in terms of a skill room. Ability room, whatever. So I'd really like to get them something that augments their damage output to help them deal absurd amounts of damage once they've got two stacks of charging. Because if they can deal 600, more than 600 damage with normal attacks, and I'm assuming normal attacks are 100% of their basic strength value, which is 197 for her, if they use a skill that increases the damage, for example, let's see. I don't have anything she can equip. So the one the room we took off of Ivy is not useful here. So basically, I was a genius for giving Scarlet the SP conversion uh, power room. Because she's got no way to spend SP. It's literally just free damage. So she's ba she basically hits even harder with her normal attack after a charge up. And frankly, just in general, once the SP is full. Frankly, that would actually scale even harder if I had the the guy that runs the room shop as our support. Which we could do pre-boss fight except for during the part with Sane that we did last episode. But 
I'm assuming that sort of thing isn't going to happen again, so we'll be able to swap out to someone to, for cases where there's another party operating independently. I hope. But I really need to find her something that provides more damage or a, a rune, an ability rune that gives her more damage. Hmm. Yeah, so she's got two of mighty power. For now, I need to store some of this armor. Ah, crap. <sighs> we don't even have the people in the freaking party, so we have to go and do whatever needs to be triggered over here, I guess. How far outside do we need to go before we are outside? Are we looking for a person to interact with that we haven't seen before? I... I will say the place is looking kind of spiffy. I mean, I, I spoke too soon. We've got, we've got garbage over here. place still looks like it's a downtown area, but, you know, we're slowly turning it into a midtown area? Okay, let's try leaving the castle first, and then we'll come back. Whoop! No, they didn't mean this outside. Oh, or maybe they did. Excuse the forgot of ah, me. There you are. Something wrong? You might say that. You should come to the Great Hall. What a weird way to trigger a progression event. You can literally leave, do nothing, and come right back. It says we earned 1,266 Bakwa, and for the life of me, I cannot figure out how that's supposed to work. I know we had 1,800 funds, so I'm going to check that out. Should be on the first floor. God, that is convenient. The castle's a big place. Not having to walk everywhere is a boom. And it's only going to get bigger. Well, well, probably not how that works. Can I help you, perhaps? Uh, right, funds. Excuse me? We had 1,800 when I last paid it paid any attention. We have 8100 now. And our limit is 11760 Okay. So, down here, the person... Nope. Not that... The smithy. Yeah, that guy is not for the smithy. I haven't come across a person that looks like this. What? Okay. So, I just realized. It tells you when you've come across the person. Because... Their profile picture will... You know, 
not be grayed out. So we haven't come across this guy, this guy. Hmm. But I still can't build the goddamn place without him. Uh, so I have to be able to recruit them now, right? Because it doesn't make sense otherwise. If I can't build the hot spring without a manager... It, just, it doesn't make... It doesn't make sense that I wouldn't be able to recruit him. So surely I can just go and do that now, right? I mean, they want me in the Grand Hall, but... Nothing starts until I show up. Please come by anytime. Wait, the treasury... Wait, it says... Wait, I'm confused. It says the treasury limit is 150,000. I, I misunderstood something. Oh, d Okay, so apparently, yeah, the limit is not 11,760. That's just what we require. Oh, we also require excellent lacquer, which. Oh. Oh, that that's actually pretty freaking tremendous. Hold on. Now that I have unlocked intelligence. Wait, so it's saying we can get mystic lumber from here. But we don't have... The only thing we have is the trading... The trading house, right? But there's also the dappled forest and the great woods south depths. So it looks like I've got a little bit of farming to do off camera. But that's actually fine. Especially since those areas I, I can just... I don't have to actually do any fighting. Also we get pelts here. Which... I think I understand where, because I'm fishing. Pasturage built provides eggs. Collect herbs as well. Wheat. Fishing science. Have to go through this guy to get. I need mystic lumber in order to get this guy, in order to get pelts, in order to get. Good lord. This system is definitely a system. Okay, so I can farm pelts outside of the area, so I can get the things I really need, like the stow pack shop going, because I've got money to burn and a yearning for carrying every single thing from everywhere to everywhere. God, I... This is going Please to be come rough. By anytime. And then we head left.
Hey, mate. Good to see you in one piece. Likewise. But what are you doing here? The Empire is on the move again. Poobie Poo! Their sights are apparently no longer set on you, Chris, but on Norrister to its west. Norrister is, of course, one of the League of Nations' three major powers, along with you, Chris, and Kinan. The Dukes isn't even trying to conceal his designs on the League anymore. Which means whatever he does next won't be subtle. Although Norrister's only part of the problem, we've caught wind of another threat, but don't yet know the scope of it. Oh, and the Empire has also been pursuing the Room Barrows with renewed ferocity. Well, that's a mess. Still, it sounds to me like our first priority is getting to Norrister. I agree. I'm hearing all sorts of things from my sources, so we should determine what's happening there for ourselves. I shall return to you, Chris, for negotiations. If Yuma gets cold feet again, someone must be there to hold them to the fire. We could send the expedition with you. You, Chris, is along the way. Actually, the Guardians can offer a better route. There's a high road through the Great Wood that'll get you to Nordstar much faster. Plus, sticking to the forest will make it easier to escape pursuers or ensnare them. No one knows those woods better than me. In that case, lead the way. Happy to. You don't got a thing to worry about, mate. <laughs> Who else will be going with you? Those who go on the passenger section. In the passenger section of this of this particular train. So, the ones heading up the train. Follow me! Permission to come aboard, you Farius! Where's Yusuke? There he is. Always ready to kick some ass! And then we'll go with the usual back Another line. Another day of me making absolutely no mistakes whatsoever. Ah, oh, fine, fine. I can manage a sliver of effort. <laughs> Who was in the back? I remember we had Gar, so that Drew, means... You ready to cause some trouble? Oh, so apparently Gar has a hero combo with Guru. Which is interesting because, it, as far as I'm aware, they don't actually, they didn't actually know each other until they met. So you see my problem with the hero combo system. You oh crap. Yeah, all set. I forgot my beloved. To reach the Guardian High Road, we'll head south to the bridge. Then double back north after we cross. There's a secret entrance to the forest there. Good luck, Noah. I shall see you anon in Norrister. You know, I have never, in all my years, seen a non-used in that context. And I thought I had a pretty decent grip on the English dictionary. Hmm. May wonders never cease. trying to get the cursor off the screen, but it is... I've got cables everywhere. And I say everywhere, but it's literally just the one for my phone. <laughs> I, 
it's a mess over here. Now, I know you're not going to appreciate this, but we've come to the end of the video. I need to get started on recording Lies of P for Monday so you guys can have that on time because Lord knows the rest of the week is to be determined as far as whether or not videos will be uploaded on the days they're supposed to be. I'm doing my best, but work is not making it easy. And short-sightedness is not helping either. But I've realized that the issue for Thursday to Friday is simply recording Friday's video on Thursday as well. Usually on Thursdays when I get up. I get up at about 10. It was not the case this time. I have worked really late. So, I got up at 1. Uh, did the stuff. Recorded. And it didn't take that long that day. But So, the video went up pretty late. But it went up that day. So I can spare some time to record Friday's video on Thursday, and then I can just edit it at any point after I've finished getting, once I've started the upload for Thursday's video. And then I don't have to worry about uploading Friday's video until Friday. Of course, then comes the issue of I should probably upload it Thursday as well. It'd just be much easier to relieve that issue. But I'm, I've, I've, I've gotten off track. I've, but just know I'm putting in the work to make sure that videos are more consistent with you guys. I can't promise it'll be perfect, but it'll be close. If you weren't paying attention, on Monday, you can expect uh, another video of Lies of P. Things are getting pretty good over there, by the way. So, if you haven't seen it, if you haven't watched any of the playthrough, even if you've played the game yourself already, why not just go over there and see what's going on. Who knows? You might see something you like or learn a thing. I can't imagine that there'd be anything to learn from my playthrough, but heck, anything is possible. As far as um, A Uden Chronicles is concerned, the next episode for this series will be on Tuesday, God willing. God and work will. But it's a mon it'll be from a Monday, so yeah, it's probably possible that Tuesday's video will be on time, but I... We'll see. And so with all that said, we will see you next time.